Hello. I am just going to dive right in. Wow. People are joining. I'm so excited. hard to determine where to put the overhead camera today <gasps> since I'm kind of working all over this section I didn't know like I couldn't really bring it close up and you still see everything so hey girly I am doing really well how are you holding up hello Elizabeth Hey, Nitsy. I'm doing great. I'm super excited. Hello, Rachel. Uh, as soon as I realized that today was going to be 500,000 stitches, just still so mind blowing to me. I knew I was going to be going live today. So, I mean, how could I not share it all with you guys? A major flood. Oh, I didn't realize you had the kids for that long, girly. No wonder you've been so tired and everything. Uh, yes. I am really excited for the Bella Filipina Mermaids. I still haven't decided if I'm going to try to, like keep up with it I have so many other projects I haven't decided yet but I'm really excited for it I love the blurb that Drin put out about it about the seasons and um, how each each mermaid has a different skin tone I love that I'm excited. I still haven't decided on a fabric yet. Oh, the rain is about to hit. Yeah. Um, have you ever stitched one of his mermaids, Elizabeth? I have the chart for the amethyst one because my birthday is in February and I have purple hair. Well, right now I have mostly blue hair. Only the tips are purple and it doesn't show up on video. But anyway, um... that mermaid just really called out but I haven't I pretty much love all of Bella Filipina designs 
I think he does just such a great job. What what color are you going for? I'm really curious. I've seen so many different like color choices for it. I think most people are choosing a light color. Yeah, girly, you're um you got the beads for the Alice. I can't remember what the actual thing is called, but you know, it's Alice. Hi Leanne. How are you doing? There's so many colors being used for the mermaids that it almost feels hard to choose a color that everything's going to work with. But we'll see. I'm sure it'll work out great. I finished a project last night, so that means... I have 26 projects, I think. For some reason that seems like not the right number. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 projects. Two, one of which is in here. So 24, okay, this number is wrong. I have 24 projects. What? 24 projects, three fostered projects. Um, and one of those 24 projects is going to be a restart, so it's kind of like I could say I have 23 projects, really. Husband has the kids as at an arcade. Ooh, nice. Listening to the fellowship. I hope you're enjoying the book. <laughs> ah. And your shadow lane, which is gorgeous. I love the fabric. I was watching your first floss tube a couple days ago, and um, is the fabric really the called for fabric for that? Or is it just the threads that are all the called for? It's gorgeous on it. So. Thanks, Nitsy. Um, Leanne, I'm doing great. Super great. I hope you had a good week off work. You only have six cross stitch on the go. See, um, I aspire to have less cross stitch on the go, but realistically, so many of them are big, like full coverage projects that, I don't know. It is what it is, right? Okay, the, whatever the fabric is called for, it probably doesn't look nearly as good. My Chatelaine is on 
antique white. I think that that's the called for. Um, but I think what you picked for your swans is so lovely. Thumbs always have a mind of their own. It's fine. Good morning, Chrissy. How are you? I now feel like I need to like count all my projects because how many do I actually have? Is my list correct? I don't know. Oh, the list of Chatelaines I want to do is a long one. They are... Pictures don't do them justice. There's too many details involved and... They're gorgeous. Oh, that's a good way to think about it, Rachel. To put it in some darker rather than a light color, yeah. I don't know if it shows up on camera the same way, but like, or picture. It just looks so, like, the vibrant color. I love it. Speaking of fabric, Rachel, <laughs> the two fabrics from 123 Stitch should be arriving tomorrow. And then I can show you the, the one that you were looking at for Alice. The jazz one. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, <laughs> you were even like a lonely Anne. Nice. You're now on 11 whips. It's hard because you do want to, I don't know, stitch all the pretties. I go back and forth on like the mentalities of how many projects I have because on the one hand like I really like to see progress so in that situation less is more right like I'll still get to all the things eventually hi Peroska I'm doing great how are you um I'm having a great morning, yarn. Hopefully we can help wake you up a little bit. But on the other hand, I, I can see like, you don't ever know when you have to stop crafting, right? Like you could die, you could be in an accident, you could, I don't know, have a frozen soldier soldier shoulder like you there's all kinds of things that could stop you from being able to stitch and so why wouldn't you just thoroughly enjoy stitching on whatever it is you want so 
I think we all have a little bit of both of that living within us. <sighs> I was thinking, Rachel, that one of those fabrics should work for Alice, for me. And then, I don't know the size. Uh, it probably won't work for the Bella, I probably need a bigger fabric for the mermaid, Bella Filipina mermaid. So. But. One thing that's cool about the mermaid, Sal, is it's the first PDF pattern release of Bella Filipina. So hopefully it goes well, because if if it goes well, um, like they say they have trackers, they'll have trackers on everything, um, and we'll be watching all of that. That's what they say. But if it all goes well, maybe he'll consider doing more PDF releases in the future. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people. PDFs just are so much more accessible depending on where you live or your budget or your space, honestly. Hey, Samoya. How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Chrissy, the, the mermaid sal, you order through, uh, fiberlicious, yummy fibers. Fiber, yummy fiberlicious, whatever that one is. Um, and... The uh, chart costs $21, and they also have, um, like, thread and bead packs that you can get through them, and fabric, if you want. Otherwise, you can just get the, the PDF. Um, and then they will send you a link to a private Facebook group. Uh, which is cool. It starts September 15th and one mermaid will come out every month um, with the last one coming out December 15th. <laughs> Rachel, digital clutter. What's ridiculous is I have I don't know, I think it's easier to accumulate digital clutter. And you like you don't even notice it until it's like this huge thing and you're trying to find something and you're like, what even is this file and how do I find what it is that I'm looking for? And I had this experience yesterday. I was um 
fil I had just I just edited a video yesterday. It'll go up um, soon, but I because of the type of video it is, I had filmed several different days and on two different devices and so I had to find where the where everything was and on which days and it was I came across these other files and I'm like what what even is this <laughs> stuff that I was like, this is so old. I've never looked at this. Why do I still have it? That kind of a thing. I had to resist the urge to clean it up because uh, otherwise I would have gotten distracted and editing it. That video already took a long time. I like having like the cover page printout of my PDF patterns and then I can have those ones all together. It means I'm less likely to forget what it is that I have. I don't Pauline, I don't think so. Here, let me grab my paper. Um, let me grab my paper. I don't think it can be as tall, but... But I'm also wondering, well, okay, so you can get these, you get these, okay. Um, it says your stitch count is only 181 by 243, so that can't possibly be, uh, each of the mermaids couldn't possibly be as big, right? Um, so on a... 14 count fabric, your fabric would be 13 by 17 and a half inches. So these are like mermaids that are actually possible to stitch in a month, I guess. Yeah, it's not too big. That means, so if your fabric needs to be like 12 inches or th 13 inches tall, then you're talking about each section being like six and a half inches tall. Four months, except each release, one mermaid is a release. So thinking through that, you know, maybe it's possible to keep up with the uh, this cell. Maybe maybe I should actually try to do it. Of course it's going into the holidays. 
end of November and early December are always insane, so we'll see. I basically did not hesitate in signing up for that one. I was like, uh, yes, please. Purchase. And I'm sure there's going to be people who do color conversions and things. And that that's a little bit of a hesitation for me as well, is do I want to wait and see like what people are choosing for their their fabric and if they do any color changes, or do I do I want to stay true to Drin's charting? I don't know. I could do my own conversions, but I don't know. We'll see. Cool thing about waiting um, until the first one comes out is that because it's a PDF, you could still easily, like, on September 15th, decide to buy it and you'll have the pattern, like, right away. Good morning, Shauna. How is your kid free time going? Also, it's Fiberlicious, and the website is Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers, so I feel very proud of myself right now. We're somewhat getting that correct. Very productive. That's <laughs> it's amazing how much time kids take up, and then you realize it once they're gone. You're like, oh, yeah. Not just time, but energy and capacity. They just. Not that it's a bad thing, but man, sometimes you can get so much done when they're not around. How's the baby blanket coming along?
It's tax free weekend here too. I haven't done a thing about it, but you know. I don't have to get school supplies, so there's that. Our favorite secondhand clothing shop is was like has like an additional discount on top of their regular one. I didn't tell Kaylin about it. But this weekend is part of tax free weekend, it is. Sorry, on at the beginning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Kate. <laughs> You'll see that eventually. <laughs> Good for you washing the dishes, though. I, um, cleaned the filter in my dishwasher and, like, clean the entire inside of my dishwasher really and then I did the brave thing of started loading in dish dishes in the dishwasher that haven't already been rinsed <sighs> like the dishes come out clean guys but it's hard I look at it and I'm like ah I don't know why. Hopefully I'll get used to it though, because it's so much faster to load up dishes when you don't have to like rinse them all off beforehand. You just scrape out the food and stick it in. Like, I know that's a thing and I know that's what you're supposed to do, but I don't know, is it just me? Is it just me who's like anxiety spikes? My hair is like getting in my face. <sighs> Over 50? Taxes are terrible. I'm so used to rinsing them. Hi, Holly. I have not had my hair done. This is just how it fades out. It, this is like kind of that blonde and then it's got the lighter blue and then the darker blue and some of the tips are still purple not that like right here where it's the darkest this is purple not yeah uh this is just how it fades out so i haven't had it done since beginning of may Y'all, it was before I had a boyfriend that I had it done. That's how long ago it was. But it does fade out really nice, and so I can go a long time between appointments. Eventually, right by my face gets like so much more blonde that it bothers me. I don't. It does look really blue, and it is. It is quite a lot of blue. Um, it's really just like the tips down here that are like in between my fingers. This is actually really purple, but I think the the camera like 
filters out red because it looks better for your skin but that means that it doesn't show my purple hair when it's purple hi Hannah uh, no you have not missed it yet I had a little less than 400 to until I got to it when I started. I am currently at 499836. So 164 stitches left. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're recovering from cancer, Elizabeth. Way to go. I, yeah, I really can't. Bye, Rachel. I can't believe we're at 500,000. Like, Half a million, half a million. <sighs> That's a lot of stitches. Can you please go in? Oh, yes, you can see the reindeer. It's right here. There he is. Maybe there's, there's better lighting. He does look so good. Uh-huh, and here he is down here. The only thing I did not stitch on here is the poop snowflake. Because no. <laughs> um, otherwise, yes. All done. So the fox is next, but I will wait to um, start for a while. I don't know when. We'll see. I don't I don't feel in a rush to start him in particular, but um yeah. Maybe once I get um ma 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 my drawn thread piece because that's little enough that I can travel with him with the drawn thread 
And so maybe when that one is finished, I'll start the fox. Or, you know, before then. I don't know. We'll see. A Christmas tree ornament. At least, the, at least an ornament is small. Okay. So that always helps. I couldn't, Kate, like, once you see something, you can't unsee it. It was much like Nomi's with the, like, marshmallow teeth. I just couldn't see it any other way. So, um, I actually borrowed some chalk from the fox in order to finish the reindeer. I had like, I just needed one strand of, of chalk f to finish up the reindeer. But I have two things of chalk for the fox. So hopefully all will be just fine. yesterday in uh, my discord server everybody helped me frame some goals for five five projects right shauna five um my five like active whip projects Uh, because I may have spent a lot of, I, I, I purchased things over the last week and a half. And after the purchases comes the, I want to start things, you know? So that's what happened. But I haven't started anything yet. And so I asked in Discord to like help me set some goals for each of my five projects, my active ones. And when I met those, then I could start something. And I feel really good about it. Like they're not, you know, quick and easy things. Like I can just get them done in a couple days or even a week. Like I definitely can't do that. It'll be a bit, but it'll be good. We'll see, we'll see progress on them, on all the pieces. It'll be so good. What did I buy? I 
Kate, what did I not buy is what I, I feel like is the better question. Um, so, it started with the release of Alice from Bella Filipina. Um, it's the first Alice I've seen that I've really liked. And I showed it to Kaylin and she was like, you have to stitch that one. And I was like, if Kaylin says that, then I have to stitch it. Um, and so then I was looking at fabric. So I landed on two potential fabrics from one, two, three stitch. So I was going to order those, but it doesn't matter what you buy from one, two, three stitch. It can never travel like on its own. So even though I have two fabrics, like I needed more things. So I, um, went on my wish list and got whatever patterns were on sale at the time. There's like six of them on the way. <laughs> uh, rabbit hole. Yeah, that is what this story is completely. Yes, that's right, Shauna. Okay, yes, five. Um, do I even remember what they were? I know they were on my wish list and they were all ones that had been on my wish list for a very long time. Um, but do I remember which ones specifically were on sale? No. Uh, that order should arrive tomorrow though. So, hmm. and then there was the Hade sale and I bought a pattern that a Cinderella pattern I had been that had been there forever and then uh the next day I had this thought about my um Randall Spangler bubble bubble chocolate trouble and I ran it past Kaylin and she agreed with my thinking and so I bought the mini version of that project <laughs> And we'll be restarting that project over. And in the process, stitching like 270 stitches less than, yeah. And the mock-up's really good on that one. So that was two purchases from the Hade sale. And I don't normally purchase on the Hade sales. Um, cause I'm really happy with the projects that I have and the, and, um, but there's just like a couple more that I want to get. And then, yeah, one of which I still need to make like a special request because I don't like the charting as is anyway. Um, and then what else? Oh, and then Bella Filipina announced the mermaid sal. So I got that. And then I was introduced to another Etsy shop that was having a sale and I got two patterns for like a total of seven dollars. I did not buy the limited edition. I've been on the fence about that one so much, Kate. And I think ultimately I love the style but I don't want to stitch it. I would rather just buy a print in that kind of style. Um, I think that's what, yeah. I'm doing a mini. <laughs> right? Not only am I doing a mini, but Kaylin still really, really likes all the Spangler pieces. Um, 
but she doesn't care how big they are or how like she doesn't care their size and so so long as the detail is great on the mini then I'll just do them in minis they're just I don't know there's something about Spanglers that work really well for minis and and I'm like I'm I'm good with it so yes you know, I do have projects that are small enough to be minis. Like um, the one ring one. That one's small enough to be a mini. <laughs> Shocked. <laughs> See, not all of my projects can be huge. Yeah, Pauline, don't you think, like, I know that you do a lot of Spangler stuff, and, um, uh, drawing Spangler-esque like. I think it works. I, it'll work really well. And so I had, um, I did the math. I have 19,000 stitches done on Bubble Bubble. Like, that's a lot of stitches, but at the same time, I'm about to fit 500,000 on this. So is it really, right? Um, But it's only like 5% of the regular amount of stitches. And if I had done 19,000 stitches of a mini, that would be like 20%. And yeah, the detail really is. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are a lot of diamond paintings of Spangler as well. I need to get my my Spangler diamond painting worked on. That's another thing is that okay, so I have this video. Hold on, we'll get to diamond painting in a second or not at all. I don't know. Drawn thread. It is right here. Okay. It's this one, the summer garden. Um, and oh my gosh, let me show you this hoop. One that I had in my stash. Look at how little it is. It's not even my smallest one. Um, it's a five by three, but it was perfect today. Anyway, this is my drawn thread piece and the goal set on this piece before I can. <sighs> so each of my five pieces that Shauna listed earlier now have goals attached to it. This before I can start a new project. This one, I'm going to finish this half of the project. Um, including specialty stitches and everything, which I've done none of yet. So I was just working in here this morning. Uh, I'm going to finish this thread and then I'm going to take it out of the hoop because I don't want it to stay in the hoop um, in, between, in between working on it. With Frodo and Galadriel... Like it has all of those like parked threads across the top. I'm just going to pull everything out while we talk about it because that's what we do. Okay, so this piece, you know, it has parked threads everywhere. Um, like 
it because it goes down a diagonal and there's all the parked threads I'm going to do all these ones across the top I'm gonna stop uh, here so these ones I will stitch all of these in yeah I think that would be great drawn a thread and that, that some threads are pulled out to make a type of pattern. They do um, a lot of specialty stitches. So the drawn thread, it's the company name, but they do a lot of specialty stitches along with their cross stitch. So I don't know if that's where they get their name from. Um, Sabrina, here's Sabrina. So what I'm going to do is, so she's got her arms come this way and they've got gloves on them. The skin is all done. So I'm going to do her gloves and then there's a chair that comes out like this. There's a little piece of chair here, but I'm not going to do that part. Um, I'll do this part of the chair, her gloves, and then there's like flowers. So I will do all of that section. The Queen of the Night this one I'm simply going to do like 5%. Uh, probably mostly over on this side, but also like up in through here. So probably mostly here, but I'll do, I'll work on this until it's 5%. 5% on this piece. This one's a little one. Hey, see, Kate, it's little. It's only like 159,000. So 5% is like 6,000 or something. It's not that much. The fifth piece is not sitting right near me, but it is um, a fostered piece from Alara where I'm doing all like the back stitching. Um, oh wait, it is right here. Hi, Jess. Is my god kitty with you? See, positively teeny. 150,000 is nothing. Come on. It's nothing, and yet I'm not done. So, um, so I'm going to do all the back stitching on this piece. It has cording as well, but I'm not going to do that one yet. Um, but the problem is the back stitching in this is weird so I'm actually going to be taking out some like up here and here and in through here I'm going to be taking that out and restitching it um, so that it looks so much better like down here does so there is a lot of back stitching besides taking all of that out um, there's this side and all of the green it has like this like swirly thing going on um, so I have to do all of that on the other side and in the green or the blue so I gotta do all of that he hasn't discovered that you're stitching he hasn't heard the call of the, the stitching It's funny. The most beautiful sorceress. Oh, she's going to look so good when she's done and I get her back to Alara. She has to be done by November. Um, so, doing the back stitching will get it a lot there. 
Hi, Bex. Um, okay, so this back stitching is like really thick back stitching. It's like two strands of floss and one strand of um, the Krynek, Krynek blending filament. So we will see how that is to frog, but it is at least thicker. I saw your picture, Jess, but your caption said that cross country made your brain crazy. So are you going to stick with the cross country to see if you become like okay with it? Or are you going to stop? Also, um, I just want to say there's a lot of people um, in this little community going through a lot of big things right now. Um, some good, some not so good. And like, if you can just send happy positive things out into the universe however you do that if you do that at all then there's a lot of people who could use it I don't want to call anybody out but um, I've just been talking to so many people lately <laughs> who are going through these big things like big um, like medical things and legal things and health things it's just it's a lot for our community so i just wanted to throw that out there you're not competing color completing i think the first color is tricky um because you need to make sure you count all the places right um and you don't want to mess that up because you're going to start basing everything else off of those stitches too. Um, but that is that is what I do with uh, a lot of things is um, I, I just finish out a thread and then I pick another color. I do that a lot. It gives variety without like traveling too far away. You do, Jess, yeah. Uh, you may have been the reason why that came to mind. You do have big, big things. And it's fantastic. If I like had everyone's permission, I would like name the people I know of because I feel like like receiving like kind and loving and positive messages when you're going through something big is it helps you just like not be alone even if you don't have the capacity to respond. Um, so yeah, you start your pre-meds tomorrow. Has your, um, flare up gone down or is it still like easing away?
I suppose it's one thing to like call out a floss tuber and it's another thing to call out like a non-floss tuber. <laughs> I just know there's so many of us right now. I say us, but I'm not, I'm very happy that I'm not going through anything like big right now. Yeah. Okay, Jess. <laughs> See, that's all the things. That's what I feel like is that um, like earlier this year, it meant so much to me when I would just get these little messages here and there. Often they would come like at a really hard moment. Um, all the moments were hard earlier this year, right? And it just, it gave me that little bit to say, yeah, I can do this. We're, we're keeping going and it's, and it, and it was a we, so. Oh, so pre-meds were like part of a thing. So ideally you don't have to take pre-meds in the future, only when you're also dealing with a flare up. Also, rude flare up, like maybe it knows that you have a big thing happening on Thursday. Hello, other Suki. How are you? Ah, honey bunny. Sometimes, sometimes we're just dealing with so much that it's hard to let people know that we're dealing with something. Um, or to put it in a public place, you know? And that's okay. Also, what am I stitching right now? Good. Wait. Wait. That is correct. And that, oh, okay. It's just this one. I just stitched one in the wrong place. Good night, Elizabeth. I'm glad you could be here. Also, for the record, I have less than 100 stitches left to hit that um, 500,000. For real, Jess. What happens, what happens if your body does reject it? Like, is it like a, we try again, we just wait for the flare down, flare up to go down? I have 35 stitches left. I say left, but I'm not stopping when I hit 500,000. I'm going to get my daily stitches in, but that's the countdown to the 500,000.
Oh dear. Jess. <laughs> I guess that's true if you're... Automatic hospitalization. Ah, oh, we really don't want that for you. I mean, it's, it's a little involved, so basically makes sense, however many times you use it. That's the spirit. Um, these grid lines wash out. It is, yeah. They will, they will wash out, um, when I'm done. And while I haven't actually finished a project in which to experience this washing out of the grids, um, Stitch and Big Things with Hallie had a video a while back. It's been a while, um, a year or more, where she finished a project and washed it and showed that process. Um, she filmed it because it was her first time doing it as well and she was nervous. So she filmed it and uh, it all came out beautifully. Nacho has demanded his time. <laughs> I love that he just conks out and then he'll stay there forever. He's so good. Yes, um, she hand washed it. She soaked it um, in, I'm pretty sure she did it in soapy water, like a warm soapy water. I mean, she just followed the instructions of the fabric. It was just, you know, when you use DMC, it's, you can wash it and it's fine. For, forever and ever. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I was going to say one pattern that I'm going to be getting is a custom chart. Um, I haven't talked to the one yet, but I'm going to soon. Um, you've been counting. Oh, I need to click. Oh, I need to do two more stitches here. Hold on. Hold on. It says, it says 499998. Here, I think this, this right here is 500,000. You've been counting, it's crazy. <laughs> Hold on, I need to take a picture of this. We did it, 500,000. Here's the proof. We're not even at 70% of this piece. Oh, wait, wait. It's right there. It's not going to focus on it, but it says 500,000 right here. 69.23%. <laughs> it's 
this project is so big. Hi, Lisa. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send that picture to Steven. My phone would hurry up a little bit. A million. Honor to have been here, even though I didn't even realize it. <laughs> that was the entire reason for going live today, was because I was going to be hitting this five hundred thousand. I was like, that's too big of a milestone to, like, I don't know, be on my own when I hit it. Yeah. Jess, you're a walking corpse right now. It's okay to be a mess. That's why we need... Thursday to go so well for you. Thank you, Lisa. What I've been doing is picking the color, you can't even see it, but picking the color from the vertical over here so that my pictures on Instagram like actually fit. <laughs> you weren't expected to be seeing a live stream <laughs> oh man I have all the good intentions of live streaming more frequently Kat, Kate I do you're practically a zombie now why not Claim it for a little bit, Jess. Though, I imagine you're not really doing a whole lot of walking. Like, you can't have energy for, like, anything. For anyone who doesn't know, um, Jess basically has no blood and no iron. Uh, her, uh, what is it, lupus has been attacking her, her blood. So she has like, she's getting um, blood and iron infusions starting on Thursday, but it will be like several, several treatments and, um, something that she is regularly dealing with for the rest of her life. <laughs> That's cause you're like a trooper, Jess, doing it. Yeah, and it's not like you have that many opportunities to be right in New York City, so. Zombie or not, you're gonna do it, right? Ha <laughs> ha 
no 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 you did not wish her years of suffering if her body accepts this it's um it is a lot to type Jess I totally get it uh, it'll be such a good change for her she's yeah it'll be really good She's got a wonderful primary doctor who is on top of it. Um, who else um, is going through things that I feel comfortable calling out. Um, Case, Jeep Girl Stitches. Um, she's been going through a lot. And like finally has some answers, but not full solutions yet. Uh, so there's there's her and um, Alara if uh, if you if you watch Alara at all, um, I'm just going to say, send her just like a loving message this week. Uh, it's been a lot and I, I'm not going to share everything. She hasn't, I don't think she's posted her, her videos yet. Um, so there's a lot I'm not going to share, but There's been a lot for her. Uh, Alara is doing well, um, but a lot of stress. She has her videos filmed, but she hasn't edited them yet, I don't think. You know, I, I, um, I've never tried to donate blood because I have such a hard time with just getting blood work done. And I do have several family members who have been told to not donate blood. Um, but I do wish I could at times. <laughs> Um, my boyfriend wants his girlfriend to be available. She's not yet. I, she did have her, um, like ADHD evaluation this last week and there are some big emotions being dealt with 
because of that. Again, I can't share. I'm not going to share her details. Um, I know she will eventually. And then there's other things happening within her family that's really, like, devastating um, and ongoing. And uh, the next big step with that is happening this week. So I'll, every, every, after all of these lies, I tell her, like, you know, people were asking about you and send you their love and care. So she really does appreciate it. It's just been overwhelming for her. Hello, V. How are you today? Oh, nice. You even got a car and everything. I'm sorry, Lisa. I, it's just, there are so many people who are dealing with, like, all kinds of medical things. And, and they're all different. And there's not, there's no comparison. I'm not comparing because I do think that it's all, like, it's so hard. And that's not even counting like uh, any, uh, any like mental health struggles and things like that. She, Alara is okay. Um, just stressed, overwhelmed, and trying to get through every day. Um, she does now have like a stitchy corner of her very own and is very happy to be organizing it. That's the thing, Kate. That was not the news that she got. Um, and all that's all I'm going to say about that, I think. But what I can say is she, she said she didn't know how to think about what she was being told. Um, she has to wait for, like, the formal report. But um, preliminary findings, right, she knew. And what I, she said she didn't know how to feel about all of this. And I said, when I went to see the neuropsychologist a couple years ago, I, or last year, last year, um, and the results were extreme emotional stress. And I really struggled with that because I wanted there to be something new for me to try to be better you know for um I, I want not that i wanted there to be something complicated to deal with but like i had already been working on emotional stress like and i wanted there to be something different and then it came back basically as no it's it's just very very extreme and and that was what was frustrating and she said that yes that's exactly what it feels like um is because when you are trying something for so long and you're like then you're told well that's where your problems are all coming from there's nothing new there's nothing different it's just this 
And then you're like, okay, well, obviously what I've been doing isn't good enough. And now I have to deal with that. But it's just, it's like that, you know? Yes, just that's exactly like, there's no need for one person's struggles to negate anybody else's. I really dislike like that phrase like, oh, it could be worse. And like, well, just because this could be worse doesn't mean that it's great. It doesn't mean that it's good. It doesn't mean that it's not a struggle for that person. You just gotta look for that silver lining. It's like false positivity, yes, I'm sometimes toxic positivity. I think that it's great to have positivity, but it's not anybody else's place to tell you how you should feel. Uh, except right now, you should totally feel happy for me for our 500. I'm going to tell you that. Oh, so diamond painting. Um, so I started a, another diamond painting. So now I have two diamond paintings on the go and they're both huge. And the new one is even bigger than my last huge one. And, but, but the thing, and, and of it, uh, hmm, words are like spewing forth nonstop right now. A video is going up on diamond painting. Mm. As soon as I convince Kaylin to do my cover photo. Um, so probably tomorrow. <laughs> But um, it's, it marks something like really cool for me because it is, um, so I have been reached out to, how dare you tell me that? <laughs> I, I'm definitely telling you how you should feel right now. Um, Ooh, 6,000 stitches is good. All the milestones. Let's celebrate all the milestones. Um, so, <laughs> I've been approached by different companies um, for, um, what is it called? Like, partnerships or deals or things like that. Um, and I... I have turned all of them down except for one now because a lot of them are companies that I don't want to be promoting and like so so that's that's mostly reason but Diamond Art Club reached out to me guys and I was like kind of in shock and freaking out about that. Um, and I said yes so fast because I do like Diamond Art Club a lot. Um, and, and like they called me an influencer. Like what a way to stroke my ego. Um, so, so the video that's coming out is, um, is that video. It's, but it's like, it's long form. I sat down to edit all my footage and I'm like, I have two and a half hours of footage. I got it down to an hour and 47 minutes, but like, how could I do a video in other, any other way but, like, thorough and long? And, uh, yeah. So. Well, 
one thing I loved about it, Jess, is that I've been wanting to get my Spangler diamond painting out for a long time now. And I just, I haven't, I was working on the rabbit and I just had so many things. Um, and it was like, I just, I just didn't. And then this came along and I was like, uh, yes. And I just loved getting back into the diamond painting. However, this one that I got is much bigger. Um, Kate, I know you want me to show it. <laughs> I'm going to have to go grab it because it's, it's, it's over there. Hi, Celia. You have 26 paintings. I love your stash. Just the fact that you have that many. I love it. The video is an unboxing, but it's also like it's all about diamond painting. So you get to see the unboxing. You get to see some goofiness. You get to see uh, actual like I work on the diamond painting. You get to see me being like absolutely ridiculous about the sparkle of diamond painting. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll show you this, but it's going to be better for you to watch the video when I post it um, because this is such a small screen. I'll show you what I did. That's what I'll show you. Hold on. Here. Uh, I can't even show you all of it because it's like up and through here and then down in through there. Um, but let me show you. It's big enough that I have to work on it sideways. And it wasn't until this fairy was finished and I took a picture that I realized that it was a fairy. Kaylin named her Claire. But look at this. Candle wax. Look at that. And it's so sparkly. There's ABs in here. Um, if you know what those are. If you don't know what ABs are, you should watch my video when it comes out. So yeah. This is huge. It's, um... It is not a small diamond painting, that's for certain. But yeah, I really like Diamond Art Club as a company, so when they reached out to me, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I'd love to represent you, so. Decisions are so much easier when other people pick them, Jess. That's why I went to Discord to help, like, pick goals for my five projects. I'm like, I can't, I can't do this. Help me. Help me, guys. It is so lovely. I can't even show you the whole picture. It's a Genovia art piece, though, um, who is also charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, Cross Stitch. Um, I don't know if they have this one. But it's, it's, um, it's a shelf, so you have all of these books on it, and then you have potion bottles and fairies and things like that. I love it. Um, Kate, this thing is longer than my arms. It is five and a half feet long. I could not possibly show it to you here. However, you will see it 
in the video that I will be posting tomorrow. Aww, Jess. She's all growing up. Yes, tomorrow. I will be posting the video tomorrow. It's exported. Um, I just, I need to write my description and get all the correct information in there. And um, it took me, it took me a while to edit this one, guys. Um, let's see. And Kaylin, I have a, yeah, Kaylin is making my thumbnail, but she's at her dad's, so um, she hasn't done it yet. Going to be twenty. You going? To, yeah. She'll still come and visit, though, right? Even though she's got her own apartment just means there won't be like full stretches like dorm living does <laughs> I do remember because every every new step is a big thing and it, and it takes an adjustment. And just because you got used to her dorm living, it doesn't mean that you're going to be used to her, like, not coming back over breaks for exactly for, for weeks or months at a time. Now it's just going to be like, I'm here for the weekend. And you'll adjust. And find, like, I don't know it's you said proud like it really is like this sense of pride and like I see you growing up look at where you look at where you are look at where you started um <laughs> the fact that you're alive is a miracle okay not that line um <laughs> Like, Kaylin's only 13, and I still feel like that so often, is... You know, the sadness hasn't hit too many times because she's still here a lot, but... I... I told, um, yeah, Kay Kaylin and I are, we have such a close relationship. And the hardest thing about uh, getting separated and then divorced was the adjustment to not having Kaylin around every day of my life. Because I'd had that from birth. her last year there are oh man med school is a lot
Sometimes yarn, they just need to have their autonomy, you know? Like they're gonna make choices. Kate, that's a really good way of saying it. A good parent raises their child with a constant conflict in their heart. Oh my gosh. A trauma surgeon? That is emotionally tough and an ER nurse I can't do medical things I, I'm a terrible candidate for it but I'm so grateful that there are people who it's perfect for Like, we need the medical professions. That is, that is tough, but um, there's consequences for people who do things like that, and so she's going to have to live up to those consequences. Oh, pediatrics is quite different from trauma surgery. Snuggle with the potato and go to sleep. There is no apology needed for that.
Of course, Jess. There's room for everyone in this world. I very much agree, Lisa. I'm not sure that there is any segment of the medical profession that is not tough for whatever reason. Kate, how is your stocking stitching going? Because during 24 hours of cross stitch, you had to frog out some. Also, I don't think anyone else has said what they're stitching on. You all know what I'm stitching on. Peer pressure is a, quite a real thing. Over 2,000 stitches left. That fabric, is it, I don't, I don't know what kind of fabric it is. It's like sparkly, but not really opalescent. Like, I don't understand how that fabric is made and, and why it causes so many eye problems for you, but it's gotta be something in how, like the kind of sparkle it is or something. Model stitching, that's nice. Lots of mirror stitching lately though.
yeah like the opalescent that i've worked on it's not that sparkly as your fabric because it's like a filament that's woven through but yours is like not yours is not that Oh, Nitsy. Hope your cough doesn't stick around for too long. I don't I don't know what the fabric is called, Rachel. It's like I've just seen Kate's pictures of it. But it's like it's like glitter in the fabric. Like every bit of it is glittery. Like it looks nice. Will you be finishing it in Australia then, Kate? Sounds like a fabric you want. <laughs> Except Kate says that it's really, really hard on her eyes. So I don't know about that. Um, let me scooch this over here. Hold it. Really, Mitzi? And not an infection. Wow. You're one of the ones waiting for uh, answers. <laughs> You'll get it done eventually. Consistency moves things forwards. Tummy was hungry.
I think I just need to do one more strand of Not sure which side of the planet it will be on. <laughs> Well, the baby won't know that it's not with her. <laughs> Aw, thank you, honey bunny. I will keep going on it for sure. I am 14 stitches shy of 600. <laughs> oh, yep, definitely need to finish, get another thread out. When this thread is done, I am done stitching for the day. Well, on the bookshelf. I will still stitch on Woodland Enchantress later on. For sure you're trying different things, Mitzi, but You've had it for three months. How long um, until the test results come back? trying to decide what food I'm going to eat when I'm done stitching on my bookshelf today. That's how hungry I am, that I'm actually thinking about what food. That's a long wait. Will they not just like call you with the results? Oh, uh, yeah, you can see her. I have stitched her for like 111 or 12 days out of the 200 and 18 days of the year, I don't know. But she's... Um, there's been a lot of the blue. This is like one straight color, so that was nice to get into. Um... Yeah. I still, I love seeing the snow, like magic snow, whatever you call it. 
There's a ton of backstitching in this, you guys. <laughs> I'll be backstitching for a long time when I finally get to that point. But yeah, that's what she's looking like now. Uh, agreed. Eating has is definitely good lately. I don't know if I will cook or not. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't have a lot of food in my house at the moment. Like, cookable foods. Like these things make a meal. I'm sure I could come up with something, but do I want to be that creative? Or am I like gonna have a bowl of cereal or ramen noodles? <laughs> something that takes like two minutes to make. See Nitsy. I suppose if you're like used to that. Any crumble cookies? Uh no, no crumble cookies. I did have a crumble cookie the other day because what was it? Friday? Because I got a notification that it was national chocolate chip cookie day and so you got like double rewards and a sticker i got a sticker but i thought that was really rude because just like a couple days before i told steven like like goodbye to crumble cookies and he was like, that sounds like a sad way to live. <laughs> and then they come and like, double rewards. And I was like, fine, fine, double rewards. We'll do it. But this is the good news is not only am I eating so much better, I've gained back the weight that I lost earlier in this year. Um, I actually prefer my size, like I feel better when I'm at the lower weight. Um, it's still within healthy, but what I'm happy about is that now I can lose the weight in a healthy way. Instead of a very, very unhealthy, unhappy way. Really what I'm seeking out is just like feeling really good in all kinds of ways. Not like some arbitrary like weight or size or anything like that, but. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, like, like, Yay, I gained weight, but I'm really happy that it's, it's, like, now I get the choice, you know? Like, it does mean so many good things for, for how I've been able to eat. Um, I'm sure four crumble cookies over the course of 24 hours of weekend did not help. Um but it was very delicious. But I'm so glad that now I get the choice. I get to be in control. I 
lost like 15 pounds at the beginning of the year. Like it was so rough. I can't like it's hard even I mean I know what it, this was I know what it was like to be the one to have gone through it I can't even really fathom what it was like for all of you who watched me do it and kept coming back like to get me through another day another moment like I know how hard that was for me, but it had to have been hard to witness and to willingly like stay here. It's why you guys are the best. The best people in the world. I don't know how I would have gotten through that without you guys. I mean, I would have, but I don't know how. And I'm really happy I didn't, I wasn't alone, really. I'm the ha I'm happier than I've been ever in my life. I am so happy with where my life is right now. Um, and with the, the people who are in it and the people who are out of it and yeah, am I still figuring things out? Absolutely. But my life has never been so good. <laughs> um, I made kind of an offhand comment the other day to Kaylin. I was like, like I hope I hope you like Steven and and she just paused and looked at me and said are you like doubting that <laughs> I'm like I was I guess I'm not so much doubting it as like it just hasn't happened yet but like it's been so good to have him in my life and I can't wait for her to meet him. And she will soon, next week. Um, so that's exciting. Oh, Nipsey, thank you. And Shauna, my people. Lisa, that's so true. The stitching community is just, everyone is amazing. So amazing. <laughs> ah, she was so ready to be living. I'm so happy now. It is true. Six hundred and fifty seven stitches, including our five hundred thousand milestone here. 
It's so good. Yes. Life is is so good in all the ways right now. Can I do this? I haven't even finished this color. I actually need to refill my floss drop um, for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll finish up this color on here. I have to bring the curtain all the way down. Where else do I still have this color? We have some in this book and then some down in this curtain and some more on the shelf down here. Me too. And now I just need to figure out like coming here and being live on a regular basis. <laughs> that's not that's not like the every day of earlier this year, but um, I'm kind of hoping I can make it out, make it work weekly. I'm trying to, I'm still figuring that out, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, I am going to sign off. Um, thank you for being here and hanging out and celebrating half a million stitches. Half a million stitches on this piece. It's bonkers is what it is. So crazy. More lives would <laughs> Ah, uh, more lives would be great. I know everybody loves. We all just want the company. It's great. So. Hello to the person in Siberia whose name I cannot pronounce. All right. I will see you later. Remember, the Diamond Art Club painting picture thingy is going to be posted tomorrow. And then another floss tube video will come out later in the week. <laughs>